खैर अभी शुड स्टॉप टॉक अबाउट दिस स्टॉफ इज इट रिकॉर्डिंग इज रिकॉर्डिंग इट स्टार्ट रिकॉर्डिंग बीच में ही ना कहीं ना कहीं हैदर मुस्तैसन इज विद अस ही इज अ म्यूजिशियन he is a very extremely good looking guy thank uh, you <laughs> as another <laughs> as another uh, introduction also well traveled guy and has lived all over the globe hai na yeah. and that's because of your father right yes so you, your father traveled a lot for what well, was he in the army uh, he was in the army but he was uh, eventually in the defense attache uh, side of the army which you it's a military representative in a foreign country okay so he was there in moscow for a while and then ukraine Kiev. So this is like ambassadorship of sorts, or no, was no, it? No, no. There's a, there's a. Well, the civil wing. So like your bureau, not your bureaucracy. So the foreign service delegates an ambassador, and then the military designates a defense attaché. So you're the military's ambassador, so to speak. Okay. Yeah. So like you, you deal with defense and stuff. Like, get your scene and okay, you know, if you wanna, yeah. So in Moscow, me, how long are you? About like not that long, a year, six months, a year. Acha. Because like, look. They didn't have an office in the Ukraine uh, embassy for uh, military attaches. Poland, Hungary. So my dad was the first DA in the tri tri country, Poland, Hungary, and Ukraine. So they had to go to Russia first for you know because that's our main embassy. Because hmm. they had to get training there. You know, one ka hota ek process pura. Kya pehle the tar thora time spend karein, then you can take reins on your own in the other mission. So we were there. I was in a school over there, and then I was in. a school in Kiev and then I left to What you have to study in Russian? No no no, it was an international school, uh-huh. the American embassy school. So I did study Russian. I do speak Russian now. Niyat. Da no konyashno. Uh eta zdrastvichi? Da da eta zdrastvichi. Good. Well, yeah, you have a good accent too. My dad's a a bit of a communist, na. No? Ah. Oh. So he's like into Karl Marx and like yeah. Das Kapital and like the yeah. communist revolution. Yeah. looks up to stalin yeah we often mm. have arguments about this stuff mm. uh to <laughs> okay. so he, he learned russian like sitting in uh, law and i'd hear him practicing and he'd say eta zdrastvichi and i'd just be like okay that's one word i know yeah but zdrastvichi means hello oh does it yeah okay it's just like you know is zdrastvichi is a more formal way of saying hello okay uh, and you know that's that's pretty much it but like me run, learning russian for 3 years it was a Well, three and a half years. It was it was more of a hard kind of a conflict kind of a situation because I didn't want to learn Russian at mm. all. But in hindsight, it's I'm very glad that yes, I work. You can now I'm like very happy when I go to New York and like or anywhere in the world, and yet you see someone speaking Russian. You see the look on their faces is like, oh, bro, he's like what? He gets it because you know when they're talking <laughs> shit, I know what they're what they're saying. So like you know, it's just a funny thing to see people's reactions when that happens. Yeah, even in Pakistan, there's a few people in Karachi that are. half russian half pakistani that i've met which is interesting really yeah. neha rajput is no but she's neha's, ukrainian neha is ukrainian yeah 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 but does that qualify as russian i guess there'd no. be people within ukraine would be like yeah we're russian no we're that's not that's a that's a sensitive topic <laughs> <laughs> <It's a sensitive laughs> i'd have to ask her of course um but yeah like um, i took this uh, linguistics course when i went to uh, this university simon fraser university in vancouver right right yeah and these it was the teacher keh raha tha ki yaar you know like logon ko ek मिसकनसेप्शन होती है कि अगर आप एक से ज़्यादा जुबान सीख लेंगे बायलिंगबल हो जाएंगे तो आपकी एक जुबान सफ़र करेगी यू वोट हैव द लेक्सिकॉन और दू नो वो कैबलरी एक जुबान में यू हैव इट दूसरी में ज़्यादा मगर टर्नज आउट द रिसर्च एंड सर्वे काइंड ऑफ से दैट बायलिंगल पीपल एक्चुअली एंड अप हैविंग मोर लैंग्वेज स्किल्स एंड इट डजन अफेक्ट वन ओवर दर आई थिंक इट है You could be even be trilingual, but as long as you are exposed to speaking it frequently, it's like a muscle. Like your brain's a muscle. Ab main jab Urdu jab main America mein hota hoon ya main wahan tha, to meri Urdu bahut kam ho gayi thi bolne mein speech mein. Because like, well, no, I used to talk to my friends and stuff, but mujhe kya the time jab main wapas aaya tha Pakistan after about being outside for about five years consecutively, that meri Urdu bilkul mujhe na off lagne shuru ho gayi thi. Aur main saara mazak uda rahe the, to ke bo kya bas. you know kis tarah kis tarah ke gore accent baatein kar rahe ho tum but like that's the problem you lose motor skills and you lose enunciations because they're very soft uh tonations with language mm. to like music mm. so like if you're if you're singing in punjabi there are specific tonations that you need to hit mm. otherwise aap thode fake lagte ho to isi tarah language ke andar bhi na if you have if you continuously speak it it helps your brain you know it, like the lexicon you said it helps both languages sometimes because yeah. saying something in urdu 
لائک وہ کہتے ہیں نا میٹھی زبان ہے بہت پیاری فارسی میٹھی زبان ہے دا ویز ٹو ڈسکرائب تھنگز ان ڈفرینٹ لینگویجز اوپنز اپ ایونیوز فار یو ہاؤ ٹو ڈسکرائب دیم ان ادر لینگویجز کہ اگر اردو میں اس کو آپ ایسے گلاس کی تعریف کر رہے ہو کوئی تو آپ انگلش میں جب وہ سنو گے نا اس کی تعریف دین یو ٹرائی ٹو ایکسٹریپلیٹ ہاؤ یو جسٹ یو نو گلوریفائڈ دس گلاس اینڈ دین یو ٹرائی ٹو میک ورڈز ان انگلش ٹو سو اٹ ہیلپس وائڈ ان یور باؤنڈریز پڑی مچ ان ایوری اسفیئر So yes, yeah. bilingualism is pretty good, trilingual, whatever. Learn languages, that's, that's the one yeah. point. But I try to focus on English and Urdu only. Hmm. Uh, Which um, is perfect. Like, yeah, yeah. I have a character that speaks Punjabi. بٹ وہ مجھے احسان یہاں پہ بتاتا ہے امان اللہ امان اللہ تو اس میں ایک لرننگ شوڈ نیور اینڈ I'll tell you a story, the Iman Allah story, bro. When I didn't know, we haven't met, we hadn't met and stuff. Me and my friends used to listen to all of the Iman Allah stuff like before. <laughs> me and my friends Faraz and Hamraz and Lahore. So we were very much entertained by that, pretty much all. We started talking about this with each other. It was very funny, very extremely funny. You pulled Dude. it off pretty well. Yeah, I mean, hmm. uh, I got sick of it too at some point. Uh, I can imagine <laughs> like talking like that for a while. Yeah, there was a point that I remember I had a meet-up in Islamabad. Ke andar. Huh. Uh, there's this uh, hill, what's it called? Mar- Margala Hill is uh, a trail. Ki haunted entrance. hill. There's a trail entrance, some th- trail 3 or trail 4. Huh. Oh, I had a meet-up there. Huh. So people turned up. And there was a group of people who were standing on the side. And they were saying that we don't think we're good, we don't think we're good. And I wow. just, uh, they made me... bifurcated you yeah and yeah. they made me like ju- judge myself against my own character yeah yeah and i just like went like fuck come on allah main behtar hu you just killed him you strangled him <laughs> <laughs> like fuck him man just main behtar hu you shot me but yeah, that's like, a good uh, by the way a topic for you the, the you know when you're killing him on like you have to make a video about it it's like you you got to go now ooh. or you kick him out of the house or something ooh. like we got to part ways death of aman allah death of aman allah yeah figurative death or literal death we could huh. you know you but could. then you can never like is that time you kill a character and then you do another video and he's back again well, and people could, are just feel like they've been betrayed it's right. like you made me go through all these emotions and it's a good betrayal like john snow came back to life right john snow didn't come back so aman allah is loved <laughs> yeah if you kill him and he shows up at his later part he'd be like wow he you know he's the one that made it so you could kill him figuratively you could kill him literally mm But don't kill him literally. I think that's violent. Hmm. Will it kill, kill him figur- figuratively, no? Uh, I'd death. like to make a violent, violent death. Like pull his intestines out. And yeah. His eyeballs. And just squeeze, just squeeze his head like... <laughs> it explodes in my hands. I'm getting violent thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I think we went down a dark path. <laughs> we should return to Russia now. Yeah, yeah. we could. So is that like... Um, I mean, did you, like, in childhood, there was a lot of traveling. Thi. Did you have a base or did you feel like you're going all over the yeah, place? Yeah, uh, we uh, traveled a, a bunch, all thanks to my, my parents, you know, kudos to them. Uh, my dad is very fond of uh, giving, you know, their kids. He, he made it a primary part of growing up, that you need to see different things to expand your horizons and, you know, the way you view the world. So he did take us a, a few places when we were kids, America, and we went to like a bunch of places in the Middle East and stuff. But the real traveling started for me personally when I was in Ukraine. So I was, in, I was playing football very, very, uh, I'd say semi-professionally because I was in a club over there, which is called uh, uh, Mariupol, which is like now it's gone or whatever. Mm. But we were in their reserve team playing, you know, um, pretty professional matches at that time for my age, which I was 16. And I think I was pretty, pretty, Crazy. pretty nasty at football. But it was a good scene. Nice. At that time, there was a school ki league. Thi. We were in Kiev International School and we had a league of eight to 10 schools. Mm. And they, them, all those schools around, uh, they were part of this league called CISA, which are international schools from different areas in the region, Russia, Hungary, Poland, Buk- uh, Romania, uh, Estonia, wow. uh, Turkey, Poland, a bunch of them. So we used to every year go to one of those countries and play a tournament with all the schools 
So it was used it called to be again? Sisa or something? Sisa. Sisa. S O oh, C E E S A. Okay. The Central Eastern European Schools Association. I okay. think maybe I might be wrong. Hmm. Uh, so that was the best because I got to travel with my team by myself, and pretty much all of Eastern Europe is covered, like from Belgrade to Belarus to Romania, and like we all got to you know stay with host families there because you don't you didn't stay in a hotel. What happened was, which was the best part of about this, the host from the hosting school, every school hosted once a year, like mm. rotation. So when you are host school, and your kids are in school, their family hosts you. If your kid is playing any sport, you sign a document that you eventually have to host two kids for the tournament. So when we used to go, we used to stay with the host family there in their house with their son or daughter or whoever. And they used to show us around like locals and stuff. So, it's not coffee. I mean, you know, we didn't get a hotel tourist perspective of it. We got a very, you know, ingrained kind of a mm. holistic perspective wherever we went. So that was the best plus football. You know, any guy at that age is crazy about football. So, yeah. I'm in Pakistan. We played in Lahore. We played in defense, double X, etc. Nice. See, UFC was a team. Thi, I don't know. Like, shout out. <laughs> Undefeated for a while. But um, did you ever hear of Death Row? Jethro, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wo boys are with you. They're boys, they're my boys, right? Elias, they're huh. Heather Mirza and like... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah those guys. Unke, unki wo dar to hota tha ground, na, death row field. Wo, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. main wale, main 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 wale ke saamne, yeah, 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 exactly. Kaafi match haare bhi hai, ma. Because when you said Sisa, na, because we had, yeah. uh, when I was in LAS, I was in LAS for two years. Okay, okay. Uh, and Shiryar Tasir was a really good player. Mm. And uh, Heather Mirza was also mm. a really good player. Yeah, yeah. And both of these guys uh, would go to Sisa. Yeah, Sisa. Mm-hmm. So I was like, maybe it's the same thing. No, it's not. Sisa is like, what the same release in your scene. Yeah. Sisa was a scene. We were in city school because I went to city school in Lahore, mm-hmm. Chalimar. Mm-hmm. Uh, our team was also very good, tight. We were able to get a lot of people in the HSN, LGS. Achoo. People might dispute this, but whatever. Like, we know what happened. Uh, <laughs> Video so un- evidence is not there. In their time, there was a big uh, unki chiti team. Hoti thi. LGS, ki, uh, GT, JT, 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 Johor Town. LGS, Johor Town, JT, uh-huh. yeah. Uh-huh. There was a lot of boys. We had a lot of boys. We had a lot of boys. Punjab Olympics or MTFA ka tournament. We had a lot of boys. 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 But we ended up walking off the pitch because our coach got over emotional, which mm. I don't agree with. You shouldn't walk off the pitch because oh, you know, they cheated, not you they guys. cheated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, they didn't cheat. It was a decision given against us. A boy was Rehan Murid. Up now, the we're boys. Calling like, him out, calling out some no, but names. He's, he's he's my boy now. He, okay. He'd probably see this and laugh because <laughs> so he was a he was a top 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 G. <laughs> Top G, That's I mean, a term I've been hearing a lot these yeah, days. After uh, Andrew Tate, Top yeah. G has become a thing. <laughs> 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 but uh, uh, so he was a you know phenomenal guy, footballer. So he uh, basically it was an offside decision. He dragged the defender down, you know, clear foul, but none of the referees saw it. And was goal at the last minute. Mm. So we lost, and then the, the, our coach was like, "Everybody get off the field and stuff." I was like, "That's that's unnecessary because you know you still got to be professional. It's a part of the game." But anyway, that's my football Trauma story. Trauma is still uh, there. <laughs> yeah, man, <if> it, <laughs> like that. Whoever plays football can relate to this because if you, mm. you know those specific defeats that you've had in your mind and how they could have gone different and like mm. you could replay those things. That's why in Punjab Olympics, I missed a penalty. We were in the semi-finals. Oh, shit. Okay, so that's why I was like, you know, I'm like old enough, but 10 years ago or 12, 13 years ago, I was like, what are these things? So football is a yeah. scarring sport, man. You, you remember a lot of stuff. Well, you're into like sports, you're into music, you're into academics. Yes. What's left? And you've traveled the globe. I mean, well, uh, but achha, to give me aati. now you said you're in like city school, Lahore. Hmm. So break it down for me. Like what, what are the, do you, do you see your life in like stages uh, uh, in different countries sure, and sure. geography wise? Sure. Uh, so my dad was in the army. Like I said, yeah. I was born in Multan. Multan. Uh, then Bhawalpur. Okay. Gujranwala. Uh, Quetta, uh, Karachi, Islamabad, Lahore, Moscow, <laughs> <Whoop. Yeah. laughs> and then Kiev, the New York, bus. Wow. Uh, so that's got to be like less than a year, a year and a half everywhere type. Yeah, a year and a half, two years. And there's another, con- uh, another phenomenon that happened between the sea moving so much. 
So I wanted to always write a paper about this, like the life of, well, services kids or army kids, people that have to move frequently with their families. Hmm. It has a big impact on your persona and personality in a lot of ways because you have to root and de-root yourself a lot of times. Like imagine you're a plant and you need to grow, you need nourishment, you need all those nutrients and stuff to grow as a functioning human being, right? Hmm. So now if you're constantly uh, changing schools, you know, for kids, it's hard to make friends sometimes or when maybe it's easy to make friends. So like you go to school to school, environment to environment, army colony to army colony, and you're like facing different people, different vibes. And then you like, it just takes a toll on the fact that, you know, you, you don't have a sense of quote unquote home. Like what, hmm. and like maybe memories and that you may come out of like every ghar is like now we have a house in Islamabad which mm. is which we've had for about 11 years so that's the longest so like that's the closest thing to a home a physical home but mm. then you you um, counteract that by having notions of like home in places and vibes or like feelings like ghar kahan ghar vaya jab woh nahi the home is where the family is yeah yeah so that's pretty much how you develop then so you you get easily um what's that word you can associate and dissociate yourself with environments very easily that's good and that's toxic like mm. it's it's both because mm. when you leave an environment you could have relationships meaningful relationships but then your brain has this automatic trigger to sever to, for your sanity you have to sever certain things now so aap chale jaate ab jaise main america se wapas aata hu it's not a good thing i'm not condoning it but like i have to shut off that part for a while ke bhai jo bhi ho raha hai wahan jo bhi mere dost hain jo bhi kar rahe hain i don't care i have to be present here and then when i'm back there mere doston ko the bahut mujh se atraaz hota hai tum jaate ho mujhe message bhi nahi karte text bhi nahi karte and it's not like you know like well the real ones know like they don't they know me enough to be like ke bhai theek hai wo chala gaya aa jayega wapas jab aayega then we'll pick it up from where we left off yeah but it's hard to make new friendships all of a sudden because they think you're just being a dick when yeah. when you're not being a dick you're just that's just how your brain's been wired and i'm sure i've noticed this phenomenon across the spectrum of uh, people that had to i don't want to just put it to army brats or army kids but it, anybody whose job involves traveling a bunch of places this is kuch locally international schools mein ye hota because your parents obviously are moving countries what if you know if you're part of a any international organization so a lot of them face this problem of you know where do you belong because mm-hmm. right now people ask acha tum ho kahan se well i am pakistani i am 100% pakistani through and through pakistan zindabad but when it comes to and it translates into my music as well cuz yeah. people people are like acha tum pakistani ho urdu punjabi mein gao mujhe koi masla nahi gaane mein masla sirf ye hai ki jab maine hosh liya na music ki duniya mein main kahin aur tha meri influences koi aur the main sun kuch aur music raha tha main gana jis tarah ke my artist vision of myself was pretty much set on what i want to do so that's how i take cultural elements from different places and i try to or- incorporate it sathi um, you know latino afro beats hip hop pop music pe punjabi bhi beech mein aa gayi yeah so like it's like it's like a patchwork of things that i want to complete in a picture like a mosaic woh nahi hota piche jaate aur aapko ek picture nazar aati hai kareeb jaoge to choti choti pictures hoti hain i that's how i see my life like it's like it's small collections of memories and places that i've been to but if i zoom out then i want to make a collective picture of who i am as an artist or as a person yeah so that's where academia comes into for me because it helps me understand like people are like tumhe padhne ka shauk hai ye thoda ek you know overloaded term hai padhne ka shauk hai padhne ka mujhe kisi ko shauk nahi hota but mujhe seekhne ka shauk hai main कॉन्सेप्ट सीखना चाहता हूँ इंसान को सीखना चाहता हूँ इंसान क्यों करते हैं जो वो करते हैं ये सीखना चाहता हूँ मैं क्योंकि अगर आप ये सीख ली ना तो आपको दुनिया की बहुत बेहतर समझ आ जानी शुरू हो जाएगी अभी तक मैंने सीखा नहीं है ह्यूमन बींग्स अ कॉम्प्लेक्स इंडिविजुअल एंड इकोनॉमिक्स एंड पोलिटिकल साइंस इज अबाउट हाउ ह्यूमन ऑर्गेनाइज इन स्ट्रक्चर ऑपरेट इन यू नो इन द मार्केट आई गेस फॉर फॉर इकोनॉमिक्स मंडी में क्या करते हैं इंसान क्या चीज खरीदते हैं क्या बेचते हैं किस तरह वो ऑर्गेनाइज करते हैं अपने आप को क्या डिसीजन होती हैं बेचने के लिए क्या डिसीजन होती हैं खरीदने के लिए या तो पॉलिटिकल साइंस एक ऐसा चीज़ था जो मैंने पढ़ के मुझे ये रियलाइज हुआ प्लस विद सोशियोलॉजी इस पर मैं आता हूँ जरा पोलिटिकल साइंस इज लाइक यू नो कॉन्ट्री पॉपुलर बिलीफ आई थिंक इज जस्ट द स्टडी ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी पोलिटिकल पॉलिटिक्स कम्स फ्राम 
اندر سے آتی ہے نا ہر بندے کے اندر ایک انیٹ سیاست ہوتی ہے ہر بندے کی سیاست ہوتی ہے تو پولیٹیکل سائنس کی اسٹڈی اسٹڈی آف دا ہیومن بینگ ہے فرسٹ اینڈ فور موسٹ کہ بندوں کی ڈیسیجنس پولیٹیکل سائیکالوجی کا بھی ایک اور ریلمنٹ جس میں میں نے ایونچولی جانا ہے مجھے شوق ہے بہت اس پہ بٹ ان کو جب آپ کپل کرتے ہو جو میں نے پڑھا سوسیالوجی اور پولیٹیکل سائنس ساتھ نا تو آپ دین یو کین اسٹارٹ ٹو سی تھنگس یور تھرڈ آئی کائنڈ آف ناٹ یور تھرڈ آئی بٹ لائک یور پولیٹیکل تھرڈ آئی اسٹارٹ ٹو اوپن اپ اینڈ لائک دا نیوز سیمس مچ مور سی تھرو دین اٹ نارملی ورڈ اینڈ نیریٹو سیم یو نو یو کین پک آؤٹ ویئر پیپل آر ٹرائنگ ٹو شوگر کوٹ یو کین پک آؤٹ ویئر پیپل آر ٹرائنگ ٹو اوور کمپنسیٹ اور یو نو اٹس اٹس اے ویری نائس وے آف لکنگ ایٹ تھنگس سو پولیٹیکل سائنس از اے اسٹڈی آف اے ہیومن بینگ فرسٹ اینڈ فورس فور موسٹ یا بیکاز دیٹس دیٹس دا میٹرک ویئر ایوری تھنگ emerges from does that mean that you want to become a politician do you study political science for the people who you, in your classes were just like people who are just into studying how people organize themselves in political sort of structures or is it more so that they want to be politicians and gain power in a machiavellian sort of hmm. like if i can learn how to manipulate people to yeah. centralize power towards myself yeah is, is there is an aspect to that as well over there? no um, for me or yeah. for for i guess uh, you and the people you were studying with because well, you were in school together funny thing about machiavelli that he, he gave you a very uh interesting way to how to manipulate people manipulation mm-hmm. is the best political tool you can ever you know ascertain <laughs> so i think a lot of people in my classes were pretty masters of the people that got good gl- grades were masters of manipulation as well like when we when we speak because what a speech is manipulation whether you like it or not mm. you're inadvertently manipulating environment or people by talking specifically if you're stating your opinion it's mm. a manipulation mm. but how how gross of a manipulation it is that's subject to what you're saying but mm. so in the sense game for me personally i wanted to learn politics just to understand like i don't have a specific goal in mind as to what i want to do with it but i think i have an idea that i want to be in a sphere of that affects change from um from a macro level down to a micro level like i want it like policies and stuff like i could be in public policy i could be in development with any any branch that deals with a macro problem but has m- micro effects if that yeah. makes sense yeah it does like say sanitation but that's a very off the top example but sanitation is a macro problem But right after this flood, sanitation is one of the biggest problems that we haven't spoken about because the drain of our IC system is bad, sanitation. Yeah. We, we're not properly uh, sewaged countries, uh, sorry, cities. Hmm. And specifically, the government is not in the and there's no concept of it, right? There are two or three things. It's so open. The, open, open, open. Right. So when the floods come, everything's got mixed up and the disease and everything that we saw. So sanitation is also one big micro problem. But if you create specific policies that even affect like two, three villages, then, you know, that's worth it because you changed about uh, or two, three thousand people's lives. Hmm. And then you could, you know, you could have something to hold your, hold your like, coat on, be like, yeah, I have something for some people, which is what I want, which is what I aim to do with music too. When I perform, it's obviously it's about me and the crowd, right? Yeah. But me and um, my friend PDNY, shout out, great guy. ہم لوگ گانے بناتے ہیں ساتھ اپنے سنا نیو یارک والا بوائے جو ہے تو وی وین وی پرفارم آئی لائک دا اینرجی وی برنگ بیکاز وی ٹرائی ٹو گیٹ ایوری بڈی انوالو ان ایٹ یا سو لائک پیچھے سب سے کھڑا ہے سب سے رائٹ پہ کھڑا ہے ہم سارے ایک ساتھ ہیں ویئر ان دس مومنٹ رائٹ ناؤ ویئر گن لو اٹ ٹوگیدر سو لائک یو نو ٹرانسلیٹنگ فرام وٹ آئی واز ٹاک از اے بیڈ سیگوے بٹ دس از دس از یور فرینڈ ہوز واشنگ ڈشز ان دیٹ ویڈیو نا یا یو گائز ہیو گریٹ اینرجی ٹوگیدر تھینک یو یو گائز ہیو ڈن لائک اے لاٹ آف سانگس ٹوگیدر لائک ویو ڈن فور فور آف دیم اینڈ ہوز لائک آئی یو ان ٹو دا میوزک پروڈکشن خود کر رہے ہو یا یور یو کمپوزنگ ہاؤ ڈو Well, we, the team, the team is me, uh, PDNY. There's this guy called Will Baker. Okay. Will Baker is our engineer. He's, he's a talented, probably one of the, actually the best engineer that I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot. Huh. He's the best by far. He could do something that a normal engineer would take an hour. He could do it in 10 seconds. Uh-huh. Literally, that's not an exaggeration. What, is he, what software does he use? Uh, he used Logic Pro Logic Tools. Pro? Uh, and Pro Tools. Yeah, both. both. Oh, But he, he records on Pro Tools and he uses Logic to chop up beats and stuff. Uh-huh. So, um... He does most of our uh, production side of things, but me and PD are there to, you know, hum a melody or hum a, I'll play some guitar because I do, that's my best instrument. I play guitar. Uh-huh. So I'll hum, like, you know, strung a melody on my guitar and he's going to try his best to, you know, um, translate that onto the software because that's one thing that I lacked. 
as a as an artist if i could go back i would learn production cuz when i if you put me in front of logic or whatever like main thoda aista main char panch ghante mein karunga jo log panch teen minute mein kar sakte hain hmm. that's one of the sides that i wish i learned pretty early like maybe a course. ai one day will just fill in that gap and everybody who spent time learning yeah. that software Okay, you'll just go like I want a chuk wow, yeah. and then AI will be like, okay, I'll chop this up, I'll do this, and chuk wow, I'll put that right there for you. Nee, because like that's what I'm saying. The DJs might go out of business soon, man. Yeah. I hope it doesn't happen. But Imagine AI, the, like that same party we went to. Yeah, yeah. Imagine yeah. the guy who was standing there was yeah. actually like some robot-looking character, uh-huh, uh-huh. and nobody gave a fuck. Yeah, because everybody's having a good time. Good, good time, anyways. Yeah. But it could just be a play, like it could just be a playlist too, now. But it would be cool if an AI robot de- like DJing a whole. Uh, yeah, and they scene. can kind of like feedback. They can look at the people and it's like, oh, they need a, they yeah. need a emotional a down and an up or yeah. it's heartbeat like sensors, heartbeat sensors. Like when you're the card, can the heartbeat sensor do that? You have Have you played card? Uh, no. Call of Duty. Oh, card. Huh. Acha, no, no. I haven't played the new one. Do you have a heartbeat sensor? In all of them. Aja, okay. With like when Fuck. you check where the enemy is, so it like bleeps you on the radar. Ah, ah, so it can see like maybe like with thermal sensors, it can see how hot the person's running. Yeah. So he's getting cold, or yeah. the beats getting. It's a great cold. idea. We might want to patent this. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have the execution capability. Neither of us, you know, yeah, not computer scientists. Carling again, sir. Yeah, but I often wonder because these days there's a lot of artificial intelligence ki, uh, applications. turning up in front chat of gbt chat gpt you got that scary. daddy thing that shit is scary oh it's i just scary. asked it like i was asking it questions um and i asked it like uh is the is homosexuality allowed in islam mm. you know and it said there's some scholars huh. who and they present a different interpretation of huh. the quranic ayat huh. and i went like which scholars huh. tell me tell you know me and i read like oh i'm sorry uh i'm sorry uh, you know, i like, can't yeah, yeah i can't tell you so it it knew that it could be someone like me who'd like you know is homophobic or mm. hates homosexuals or wants to kill them mm. uh, and so it didn't give me that information because it would have violated the privacy and and it said i'm sorry let me recorrect it uh, correct my statement just in case you thought uh, i said that homosexuality is allowed in islam mm. uh, most uh, religious institutions and scholars don't allow it mm. the ones who do believe in it mm. choose to keep themselves private mm. very astute answer ha huh. and after it gave me the answer that there are people who do believe that it's hmm. allowed in islam see this political um, literal uh, tweaking and engineering in chat gpt is also very interesting because me and my friends have a group chat it's a very it's politically based group chat we just talk about different things in a civilized and uncivilized way sometimes to na usme usne ek bheja chat gpt ka usne prompt likha hua tha about okay it said this say something uh, describe donald trump something mm. like that it was like he he wrote in like give me some uh, attributes of donald trump and chat gpt uh gave like a solid five paragraphs of like negative like stuff about donald trump oh, or maybe he skewed the question like give me like what why do people not like donald trump something like that huh. so he gave us five paragraphs then he wrote the same thing for joe biden and in joe biden's case it didn't say anything negative and then he asked why didn't you say anything negative about Joe Biden he's like well while Joe Biden has some sort of particular policies he doesn't uh, polarize or blah 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 tried to get a justification mm-hmm. and when he asked about Trump he's like well he's this this that that I'm like I'm not supporting anybody on the left or right right if you're an AI bot I think you should be neutral in your yeah. source collection and right. that's the problem with the internet in general we we it tells some very left it does yeah very left that's why cancellations we were just talking about it it's like a yeah. very hot topic is like canceled you're canceled you're canceled and if you don't agree with me you're canceled yeah so like everyone's canceled uh right right wing people don't have a lot of not that i'm right wing hey mm-hmm. disclaimer <laughs> i'm not talking about my political affiliations i'm just yeah. saying as as a student of political science i think there needs to be some sort of uh neutrality there needs to be some sort of middle ground for the media but it's owned by all liberals like pretty much 85 90% of the media especially the internet aspect of it like absolutely it companies that are unicorns meta meta yeah, sorry twitter twitter yeah. to ab elon musk ke hath mein to i guess slightly less left than yeah. it used to be um he's trying but like the left the right disengaged with twitter uh, like i think a while ago when when they started canceling when they when they canceled donald trump and all these people yeah but now they've reengaged but elon musk has just made such a top down 
bottom up, top down. I don't know. Structural changes. Yeah. You just, you know, yeah. fudge the whole thing up in a, in a very interesting way. He fired people. So we, I don't really, I haven't been following Twitter. So I don't, I can't no. really speak upon it. Actually, you're not on Twitter? I'm not on Twitter. Oh, never? Never. Or, I or, made an account, like, huh. but after that, vibe nahi hai yaar main ha matlab wahan pe music to promote karne ka koi fayda nahi hai koi aata hai hai ha koi hota hai wahan pe kaun se viral ho tiktok yeah, best yeah, for music promotion retweet 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 tweet, 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 tweets to viral hoti hain ha ah, yeah but not like, it's not per se for music but it's good way to disseminate your information maybe not anymore but tiktok is now the the prime main new tiktok pe bhi acha nahi hai inshallah i am everything everywhere all ha ha sab on you don't tiktok mein se ek niklega ek clip tiktok pe tiktok pe bhi hu yeah I I remember like uh, uh, opening that TikTok account after watching uh, my friend Junaid Akram he's like uh-huh. you dekh million view ye dekh I was like main bhi kar le <laughs> sold <laughs> so million view maine kaha on hai so then I opened it and all I did was just take the same content yeah. that this is happening right uh-huh. so there'll be a bit that I go like this seems like TikTok worthy yeah and I'll put that in vertical format on TikTok so yeah. it's not like I changed my creative process so yeah. I didn't consume any TikTok either. Mm. Like those slow motion walks, no. I never consumed that shit. But those have crazy amount of views, bro. I'm like, who yeah. is watching this stuff? Like the four boys are coming, they're running out of the street, they're running out of the street, they're running out of the street. Good for them. Those boys But, who want to, who are fat, who want to build bodies, so there's aspirational content for them, I suppose. And then girls who want to look at hot guys, there's that, I, I'm assuming, for that particular example you read. Right, right. Like girls walking, sometimes, if i open tiktok just to open a video hmm. and a hot girl turns up you know how fucking male mind is hmm, like, hmm, hmm, it's easy to short circuit and sure. like get its attention over and i'm watching and i like go like what the fuck no no i have to yeah. upload <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> snap out of it cuz i'm swiping and it keeps showing me hot girls walking because if you watch the video for a longer period of time the algorithm notes the fact that your attention was uh Uh, yeah. on this for more than a while and then when you scroll it just keeps giving you that that's why it's like such a toxic cycle even instagram yeah. it's like you don't want to look at these things and it's all in your face all the time and it's like not even for like it's hijacking your biology that's the problem like if i was to consciously think about what i want to watch i search yeah. for something like yeah. so youtube seems to be pull content like i'll search for like what's this guy's opinion on this right yeah. so i'll search for that but like on tiktok there's no searching it's fed to you yeah. so it's that like hijacking of your uh-huh. brain yeah. that really like takes y- you into a- YouTube is very nice i think and still it's like will help some integrity cuz my searches in youtube i guess when we search is pretty bad karta but they're all they give me hold some content a lot like when my suggestions me aata na cuz i listen to a bunch of creative youtubes about you know different aspects of what i'm interested in kind of like you know there's history there's uh, i like concepts of duality man duality acha chat gpt ek second yeah Duality, मैं एक थीसिस लिख रहा हूँ अपनी मास्टर्स की थीसिस आई एम करंटली इन डूइंग माई मास्टर्स इन पीस एंड कॉन्फ्लिक्ट स्टडीज सो माई कॉन्सेप्ट हैज समथिंग टू डू विद डुअलिटी इन पीस एंड कॉन्फ्लिक्ट स्टडीज ओके द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डुअलिटी कम्स फ्रॉम डायलैक्टिक्स लाइक इट्स बेसिकली लाइक एवरीथिंग हैज टू हैवस इन द कुरान एंड ऑल्सो दिस इज हेगल आई थिंक ओके आई माइट बी रॉन्ग आई थिंक इट्स हेगल सो ही prophesies that you know every you know duality exists all around us and i've subscribed to that belief it's consumed my mind over the past 2 years to a crazy extent i look at everything in a dual nature and it's true it's everything's a zero or a one mm. at the bottom it's binary mm. we live in a binary world iske baad mein i'll explain what i'm trying to say but um my my thesis was about uh duality in peace and conflict studies so de-escalation and escalation and how people view mediation and stuff right and how it needs to be viewed through a lens of duality for any logical person to ascertain a proper uh, de-escalation method interesting main ye likha main chat gpt pe waise chala gaya maine kaha bro dekhte hain isko kitna pata hai maine kaha please maine apna research thesis question likha and bro it was so articulate it's scary like how yeah. accurate articulate perfectly it it phrased you know it looked like a actual person that was knowledgeable and has like hundreds of years of knowledge it was read 100 years of knowledge about it yeah. so it's scary like where are we going with this now because now if i was in high school at this point mm. mere to maze ho gaye yeah hamare panch paragraph ke aise likhne padte the ye panch paragraph aapko 4 second mein lag deta khatam pata bhi nahi cheat bhi nahi kar sakte yeah wo kya kehte hain usko what's that website uh The plagiarism check website. Ah, uh, कुछ है एक मैं भूल गया उसका नाम. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about plagiarism. 
पाकिस्तानी कुछ भी नहीं पता था और मैं कॉलेज गया था वैंकूवर में और मैंने प्लेजराइज करके ऐसे दे दिया Sitting in like yeah. the there was a ombuds person I I forget her name, mm. uh, but an official person at university and I didn't know what plagiarism was mm. and they let me go because I I honestly didn't know what okay. plagiarism yeah, was. Okay, छोड़ दे यार इस अगली दफा तू बेटा देख ले फिर से करके आए से but yeah I mean it's scary when I recently chat GPT like I write these uh, thesis statement type videos I call them Muru ke khayalat so I'll talk mm. about like. how to bridge like the idea of evolution uh, mm. biological evolution uh, mm. with with the islamic concepts mm. Mm. so uh, the human evolution is where most of the problems come in because wo kahenge ke you know adam was born the way he was born he didn't evolve into adam mm. Mm. so there are other interpretations like uh, so I, i had to search and for years this was something mere dimag mein chakkar khada rahi thi how is it possible this is proven and How is it possible that this is also right and this is also right? How do I bridge my beliefs? Yeah, to square them, yeah. Yeah, ChatGPT. I done it this video before ChatGPT existed, mm. uh, and it did well as well. So, but like I was like, now I have asked ChatGPT to pucha, and it gave me the exact thing that I did mm. with references of Stephen Myers as a scientist who showed you this mm. in his research, mm. and then and weighed it all out, mm. weighing one idea against the other. brings your duality concept as well right uh and and it did it for me and it showed it like within i said 5000 words likh do to 5000 words likh ke 1000 kahunga 1000 likh dega yeah so i'm just using it for my youtube video writing now more more than anything else and it's like mm. a tool right we we're evolving with it if you go like no i want to do this shit in my head uh, you delegate that cognition yeah to this other tool now yeah you're losing man yeah it's not a competition other people do it in in a second yeah using that too and that's the tough part about it because this is just the precipice of everything we're just starting this is like the first it's not the first but this is the first real ai chatbot like who knows in the future ki kya what kind of stuff that humanity conjures up yeah and it might it might help us might not because automation helps a lot of people mm. but it also is going to disaffect the pop is pe bahut badi ek debate waise bhi hai it's been going on for about 30 years about the benefits of automation and what it's going to do to hum- humanity and how it's going to lay off a bunch of people specifically in the agriculture and the automotive industry and they say trucking is the first thing that's going to get automated etc so mm. it's going to disaffect a lot of population they're going to be uh, unemployed unemployment's going to raise uh, you know frustrations and then boom mm. we're going to start a war with the ai world because they're going to take over our stuff yeah <laughs> so ye kafi scary baat hai hamari shayad lifetime mein ये प्रॉपर फ्रूशन में ना आए ये शायद आप ही जाए क्योंकि हमें नहीं पता बट हमारे बच्चे जब होंगे जब भी होंगे इन शाला उनकी जिंदगी के अंदर आई सी दिस वेरी स्ट्रॉगली हैपनिंग लाइक एन एक्चुअल वॉर अगेंस्ट द मशीन बिकॉज द मशीन इज वेर फीडिंग दिस मशीन थिंग्स दैट वी माइट नॉट वॉन्ट इट टू नो अबाउट आर सेल्स लाइक हाउ वी थिंक इन आर इमोशंस इन आर कागनेटिव डिसनेंस और आर कागनेटिव अबिलिटी लाइक इट विल लर्न एंड बिकम स्मार्ट और दैट्स वट इज डिजाइन टू डू whether it becomes smarter than a human brain then we don't know we're going to point reach the point of the singularity i don't know if you've heard of the yeah the when we become one with the Ray machines uh, concept yeah, yeah exactly futurist so dekhte hain no it's it's i mean i guess it will help do away with a lot of uh, um, cultural issues that we face because if you automate to efficiency yeah yeah, yeah. and if you also like लाइक like, अभी मैं अपने वाले साहब के साथ अगर कोई आर्ग्यूमेंट करता हूँ ना कोई बहस करता हूँ hmm. तो मैं बहस के अंदर चार सेकंड नहीं घुसा हुआ होता और मैं कहता हूँ गूगल से पूछते हैं एंड आई टेक माय फोन आउट बट ही फ्रॉम अनदर टाइम एंड ही हेट्स दैट शेट ही लाइक कॉन्वर्सेशन हो रही है rely on your own brain hmm. i was like i delegated that shit to <laughs> the internet and google a long time ago uh-huh. i don't want to spend time arguing over this this that and uh-huh. the other right uh-huh. before i I want to know what the main arguments are for yeah. like and is there any scientific proof are there any longevity studies on on this particular thing that we're mm-hmm. talking about you know mm-hmm. so the the idea that you know your truth uh, is g- going to be subjective in a in a debate is yeah. not going to last very long yeah. and uh, us as this generation knows this now we're going to be old school for the next generation when they grow up sure. and, and are born so they'll grow up with this AI thing and they'll be like yeah so why are you wasting time like when the calculator was invented mm. we stop calculating i can't do like 50 times huh. 75 in my head 
ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਵੈਸੇ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਤੂੰ ਕਰਨੇ ਲੱਗੂ ਆ ਜਸਟ ਓਪਨ ਅਪ ਦ ਫਕਿੰਗ ਕੈਲਕੂਲੇਟਰ ਦੇ ਸਿਕਸ ਆਫ ਥੈਮ ਲਾਇੰਗ ਅਰਾਊਂਡ ਅਸ ਆਲ ਦ ਟਾਈਮ ਸੋ ਵਾਈ ਯੂ ਵੇਸਟਿੰਗ ਯਰ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ نو ਮੈਂਟਲ ਸੋ ਸੋ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਨਾ ਹੈਪਨ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਗੋਨਾ ਡੈਲੀਗੇਟ ਥੈਟ ਸਟਫ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਥਿਸ ਡੇਟਾ ਸਾਇੰਟਿਸਟ ਸ਼ਫੀਕਾ ਇਕਬਾਲ ਸ਼ੀ ਇਜ਼ ਲਾਈਕ ਥਿਸ ਸਾਦਕਾਬਾਦ ਕੀ ਲੜਕੀ ਔਰ ਉਹ ਗੂਗਲ ਵਾਰਸਾਮ ਮੇ ਪਹੁੰਚੀ ਹੈ ਇਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਅ ਗੁੱਡ ਕਮ ਅਪ ਐਂਡ ਸਟੇਲ ਆਫ ਸਮਵਨ ਡ੍ਰੈਗਸ ਟੂ ਰਿਚਸ ਬੈਕ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਥਿੰਗ ਨਾ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ੀ ਵਾਸ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਕਿ ਯੂ نو ਲਾਈਕ ਥਿਸ ਹੈਪਨਡ ਇਨ ਦ ਐਗਰੀਕਲਚਰਲ ਰੈਵੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਥਿਸ ਹੈਪਨਡ ਇਨ ਦ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀਅਲ ਰੈਵੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਵਿਦ ਫੈਕਟਰੀਜ਼ ਵਰ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਮੇਡ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ نو ਦ ਦ ਗਾਇ ਹੂ ਮੇਡ ਵਨ ਹੋਲ ਥਿੰਗ ਬੀਕੇਮ ਦ ਗਾਇ ਹੂ ਜਸਟ ਡਨ ਡਸ ਦ ਵਨ ਥਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਦ ਫੈਕਟਰੀ ਜਸਟ ਵਨ ਪਰਸਨ you know specialization specialization took place and all of that so things jobs change is just that human beings are progressing so we need to adapt the adaptability is where right. you know whether you survive in the marketplace or not is going to come in i suppose well i think that the only issue i find with that is like right now it's an unprecedented time not only because we live in a uh, a very connected world but not only are we connected as individuals our economies are connected our politics are connected mm. our societies are connected in a unprecedented way to the point that if a ship goes down in the Suez Canal the whole fucking sorry maybe you could put that out <laughs> i've been saying fuck all the time oh, but okay. i'll beep yours and not mine <laughs> <laughs> the whole the whole world supply chain messes up because one ship got stuck in the Suez Canal mm. now my point is like if you automate stuff to the next like that's what we call the ai revolution people are like there's always going to be other uh avenues where humanity is going to go and seek jobs they're going to get trained in the art uh, you know in um what is that i forgot i'm forgetting the term but mm-hmm. their point is they'll just move elsewhere to another field but the time span of that and the skills it requires to move to this specific field are immense mm-hmm. not everyone can just move to the ai field cuz coding takes while, a time like coding mushkil hoti hai at least yeah. for me maybe it's yeah, just for same. me my brain isn't wired for numbers and figures yeah. and stuff so um it's going to be hard and one thing you mentioned earlier i want to touch upon is about facts now we're in a crisis of facts these days you know when we can google like you said we can google and fact check ourselves but the point of that is like there's so many facts out there now that anybody can prove anything by googling it okay there was a tiktok i was seeing it's like coffee makes your eyesight better when you google that there's two scientific peer to peer review studies it makes it better he said like, coffee makes you blind There are about four studies that it says that it can make review? you blind. Yeah. What? It's crazy. What like, the fuck? It's can it can literally you can the f- fact of the matter you get it in a phrase it's no fact of the matter anymore it's fact of the self. Mm. It's subjective. So we've what we've done is we've taken fact outside from the abstract and we've taken it and internalized it in ourselves. So fact is now everybody has a different opinion. I'm entitled to an opinion. You're entitled to an opinion. <laughs> Everybody's equal. <laughs> you know, when sometimes some people's e- opinions are not equal than other people's opinions and we don't understand that. Yeah. And, we, and it's the quicker we understand that the further will the entropy will stop because we're the entropy has gone crazy these days in society. Yeah, yeah dude. We're It's not all doom and gloom, but it's I I am I am fearful of the space of free speech and free thought and facts. Wo to khatam ho gaye. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. There's no such thing. America uh-huh. maybe. Like hum hum to ek Pakistani hai to Pakistan mein uh-huh. kabhi free speech naam ki cheez uh, zyada right. exist nahi karti thi. Mm-hmm. You have an opinion and if somebody disagrees with it they might yeah. declare you non-muslim immediately, uh-huh. you know. Yeah. That's one of the many ways, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, there was never any freedom of speech there, but um I was just uh, wanted to bring it back to your life as well cuz the uh, you you come and go from Pakistan. Um yeah. I mean you're here for a project that we're not yes. allowed to talk about as well. Yes. So uh how's that like uh, uh where does your most of your music get made is does it get made in New York does yes. it get made here and does it affect ki kidhar tum baithe ho bana rahe ho idhar bana rahe ho to urdu mein aayega udhar bana rahe ho angrezi mein aayega nahi nahi itna nahi hai maa main uh we pretty much make it in new york and brooklyn when mm. will will baker who i was telling you about before yeah. so him and i and pd although he is um from pennsylvania he's white he he's uh, such a phenomenal artist that he can understand and ascertain tones and modalities and melodies of eastern music hiriya bana rahe the hamara gaana hai love usme thank you one of my favorites usme jab jo tonalities thi na hamari hook ki janya hiriya janya meri ye meri ka jo tha na love wo usne bataya tha Uh-huh. some weird reason that he's just like you know guys 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 hold on hold on i feel like you know you should nah, nah. i'm like we're like oh shit you're right because uh-huh. he has a lot of things that he's just constantly thinking of when i'm in the booth and i'm recording 
before I say something, he'd be like, I got you, I got you, hold on, hold on. I was like, yo, Will, he's like, wait, hold on, hold on. And then he does something, I'm like, exactly. So like the music is made there because of this reason. Um, we are, the team we have over there is like, you know, once you get a taste of that level of coordination and like, you know, sound and processing and mastering, when I come elsewhere, and it's even true in America or Pakistan, wo bas feel nahi aati us tarah ki. So, when I work with producers, there's some really talented people here. Taha Malik, I don't know if you know. Amazing. Taha and uh, Ali Level. Mustafa. Ali Mustafa is in... Uh, Ali Mustafa. Well, he's a veteran, bro. He's been here since uh, forever. Huh. So, might, uh, know his, might know his work because I listen to a lot of Pakistani music. So, people here, they're really talented. Uh, Abdullah Siddiqui is another so, you know, new example. Level. He's a really, really talented guy. Because he's going to be a lot of people. क्या उसकी वोकल ट्रीटमेंट कितनी क्रेजी होती है बहुत अच्छी है कहां से वो लेके आता है अपनी आवाज को कोई तो एक तो लेयर्स दोस हार्मनीज एंड देन द द द वे लाइक ही विल ओपन लाइक अ डिले ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर वर्ड या ऑन हिज ऑन हिज थिंग या एंड देन ही विल शट द डिले या एंड देन ही विल वाइडन द वोकल एंड देन ही विल सक ऑल द फकिंग रिवर्ब आउट ऑफ इट एंड मेक इट ड्राई इट्स लाइक इट्स लाइक अ इट्स लाइक अ ओपेरा प्लेइंग इन समवनस हेड यू नो That's how I'd like to think of it when uh, even sometimes obviously I'm not a producer but when I'm listening to songs that are how I want them to be structured I just close my eyes and I think of it as an opera on stage that if, if someone's acting this theatrical piece out where would I want the pauses where where would it garner the audience's attention the most mm. so I think Abdullah does this pretty well in his head I don't know how this is how he thinks but I mm. can imagine that this is how he thinks as well that it, it's not just in like tonalities it's in it's in picture form hmm. ki kya chal raha hai kidhar se reverb ekdam se aaya 3d space mein soch raha hai and this a composer nahi khada hota aage orchestra ke it's like you know you is tarah ka scene ha so the, my point is they're acche hain but my music's primarily made there and the, everything's done there we write all our stuff we produce all our stuff pretty much all our stuff um in pakistan is more of the execution of the videos and stuff khair all the videos have been shot there a lot of them one, yeah. uh, pretty much all four of the P- videos me and pd have done mm. are shot there my personal videos have been shot here once mm. abhi humne kiti safarish ek gana tha and then now we just shot another music video last week with these boys called zan peer zada i love them i love them he's a guy he just did jimmy's video as well yeah uh, he's an amazing musician and yeah. a filmmaker yeah. Yeah. Huh? it's really fun to work with him it's very easy ha yeah. chill uh, out chill chilled out hota hai bada maza no tension no stress No, and he grabs that guitar, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He heard his heavy metal stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I don't listen to metal anymore that much. I used to no, when I was yeah. an angry young kid. I used Same. to listen to a lot of freaking metal. Same. <laughs> But when I listen to it, I go like, if I was young, that's the shit I'd be listening to. Yeah. Now I have like the capacity of listening to one heavy metal song in mm. a day, or mm. like one dubstep song. Dubstep, I pandra minute ke baad sar me dard shuru. Is a dubstep mathe nahi hota. मुझे बिल्कुल नहीं होता वो लेकिन नेवर लाइक्ड इट आई डोंट डू नॉट मैं सेन मुझे वो दिमाग मेरा ना वो फ्रीक्वेंसीज खराब हो जाती हैं लाइक आई जस्ट वो नहीं होता एरर 404 होता है पेज पे वो मेरा दिमाग ब्लू स्क्रीन हो जाता है एकदम से मेरे ब्रो नहीं नहीं इधर से नहीं करना है क्योंकि आई लाइक सम सॉर्ट ऑफ कोहेरेंस डब स्टफ डजंट हैव अ लॉट ऑफ कोहेरेंस इन इट या इट स्क्रिलेक्स वाज गुड एट लाइक ही हैव लाइक अ मेलोडी सो लाइक ही लाइक अ बैंग अ रैंग एंड देन आफ्टर बैंग अ रैंग देयर बी लाइक नॉइज Yeah. all of that shit yeah. you'll be like okay 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 okay, oh, yeah. okay i'm going there yeah. and then you come back and there'd be some melody <laughs> you know yeah. but that dubstep that has no melody and there's just oscillations go of like metallic like i see transformers fucking basically is what i see <laughs> <laughs> just listen to and if i close my eyes it's like oh transformers sex <laughs> like shit going down it's <laughs> <laughs> going down i don't want to see this but okay it's interestingly new. yeah uh but yeah like i i can still listen to it like in that aggressive sort of a angry place way like if i was really angry at something hmm killing a manula had like a gym a uh, killing a manula you yeah. have dab step in the background there yeah, were some very sad bach or oh, mozart bach could work <laughs> <laughs> like a very like <laughs> sad stuff going on but yeah duality ho gayi na to wali duality ha huh? like music has duality too hmm you know it's like it's duality is everywhere man like we could do another whole podcast on where we talk about duality it's What's that the difference between duality and dichotomy because people keep using dichotomy well, in a similar way right they're interchangeable i think dichotomy deals with more of um, well duality is just describing a nature of an object a, a position of it whether it's in dual or dualism or monism i think there's those are the two uh-huh. uh, opposite schools of thought 
oneness and duality اب, اب اسلام کے اندر بھی ہم آ جائیں اس میں بھی ڈوالٹی ہے لیکن oneness کے ساتھ ڈوالٹی ہے سو اٹس اے ویری ویئرڈ ٹرائلٹی ٹائپ آف سچویشن گوئنگ آن جہاں ایوری تھنگس کریٹڈ ڈولی بائی دا ون سپریم یو نو سو سو دا ڈول ورلڈ ہیز ایگزٹیڈ اینڈ ایوری تھنگ وہ کہتے ہیں نا ویو کریٹڈ یو اینڈ پیئرز مے بی اٹ لائک دیٹ آئی تھنک واز ریفرنسنگ ٹو ایڈم نیو ایڈنگ منیو بٹ آئی تھنک دیٹ دیٹ you know if i was like a islamic scholar which i'm not yeah. i could have taken that out and been like yo we you have been created in dualities not just your physical sense but the natural world everything has to everything living has two states dead or alive yeah theek hai everything natural also has two states they they exist or they don't exist yeah day and night theek hai yeah. you could go the list is long and you there's could, a symmetry to it like you have two eyes sim- yeah so you usually divide it Yeah. So you got left and right. So that's two eyes, two Your hands. Your brain has two hemispheres. Two hemispheres. Right. And what do you say? Yin and yang also has yin that. Yang. Peace, conflict, chaos, yeah. order. Yeah. You know. And they can't be separated. They can't. So like order emerges from chaos. You and need chaos. Chaos is an absolute ing- specific ingredient for anything. Specifically political landscapes. I always say this. Maybe it will be a little controversial about it. پاکستان کو نا ایک بہت کریزی ریولیوشن کی ضرورت ہے بہت کریزی قسم کی ہاں کیونکہ آپ کو ایک دفعہ جل کے راگ کرنی پڑیں گی چیزیں ادھر جو ہیں وہ دیر سم تھنگ روٹن ود ان آر انسٹیٹیوشنز این آر لیڈرز موسٹ آف دیم ناٹ آل آف دیم کراس دا بورڈ بات نہیں کرنی چاہیے کبھی اور لارڈ آف پرابلمس دیر ایگزٹ آئی تھنک جس نیڈ ٹو بی برنڈ اینڈ ری فورجڈ ابھی پھر وہ بات آ جاتی ہے نا کہ سم پیپل آفٹن دا پیپل دا لبرلس دے لیف اینڈ سی لائک واٹ ہیپنس دا ڈے آفٹر دا ریولیوشن وچ دے رائٹ لائک جب جلا کے راک کر دیا پھر بگننگ آفٹر دی اینڈ رائٹ سو لائک دین یو کین فرام دا کروسبل آف آل آف دس اے فینکس کین رائز ادر وائز اے فینکس کین رائز مین اف یو کیپ بینگ اسٹیگنٹ سی آئی ہیو دس کانسیپٹ آف ایکسپلینگ ٹو سم ون دا ادر ڈے آر یو فیملیئر ود اینٹرپی دا کانسیپٹ آف اینٹرپی ایوری تھنگز ان اے اسٹیٹ آف ڈکلائن ڈس آڈر ڈس آڈر اٹ گوز فرام آڈر ٹو ڈس آڈر ایوری نیچرل سسٹم ان دس ورلڈ پروگریسولی گوز فرام آڈر ٹو ڈس آڈر سو آئی تھنک ڈیوالٹی اٹ لائز بٹوین سم ویئر ان آڈر ٹو لمٹ یو کین لمٹ اینٹرپی دیٹس دا لا لائک اینٹرپی چلے گی آپ چاہے اس کو سلو کر سکتے ہو دا وے یو سلو اٹ ڈاؤن از ایف یو آسولیٹ بٹوین this side and so imagine entropy as a strange single line okay and you're oscillating between the two uh-huh. as like a graph if you can imagine okay the where it's a problem is if you stay on the line of entropy that means you're on the fast track of going the highway pe chade bhi aap aapko from duality between um kya kehte hain usko um positive net to positive and negative, negative because net. before yeah. without the highs you you can't experience the lows and without yeah. the lows you can't experience the highs So like if you go up and down this, it helps you channel yourself, the world around you, your social relationships, your society. Because if you stay either in the negative zone, then you're a detriment to yourself and everybody around you. If you stay in the positive zone, then you're in aloof and you're no good to society in general because yeah. you have nothing of substance to offer. If you're stuck in the middle, then you're just a bane. You're, you have yeah. no opinions and you're going, you're just sitting in the car and you're going straight. But yeah. if you oscillate, then you have something of substance to give every time you hit the line of entropy. Like, okay. Like now I have something to substance to give. I can slow it down. So I'm like, cheese, khadi, khadi. I'll offer something value to the world. So I always keep telling people, not that I'm a therapist. Or <laughs> <laughs> But whenever I have these conversations with my friends, it's just like if someone's depressed or someone's like that. Depression is just another uh, a loop. Uh, yeah. Some people that are depressed are just stuck in the lower part and they don't know how to get back up. And the people are aloof. They have gone, they've been up way for way too long and they don't know how to get down. That's also torture. If, yeah. you, if you're happy for, like if you're, <clears throat> your serotonin depletes for that long, then you drop very low. So the point is to keep a consistent up and down motion. Chaos, yin, yang, yin, yang. What do you say to everything? Moderation, 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 what do you say to everything? تو 
bring your confidence up at times uh-huh. but that means that you're going to have to have a self critical voice within you later uh-huh. who's going to tell you assess it that wasn't the best of you yeah you know and that guy's going to be ex- within you too yeah. so there's that confidence guy within you who's like everything i'm doing is amazing yeah like i just act at this point yeah. just do at yeah. this point but then once you've done then you sit and you go like reflect some of that stuff that you said wasn't the best of you yeah you can change yourself yeah and that critical thing that makes you better the next time you do the same thing yeah. you know okay, i shouldn't have taken my pants off on stage absolutely <laughs> that's, that's a bad <laughs> idea <laughs> <laughs> so there's this there's that in every single aspect of our existence exactly. like this good evil there's like yeah. the horrible shit to do is like and then the good good thing to do there's this, uh, there's this concept of uh, sorry to cut you there's no, 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 there's this thing of uh, uh, cognitive dissonance mm. so people can only function with cognitive dissonance if you don't have cognitive dissonance dissonance in your head um you are you know it's very hard for you to function pretty properly because cognitive dissonance allows you to uh sh- like block out certain things uh-huh. while keeping other things intact so you're mm. in your mind you're also dual in nature you look at things in a they say cognitive dissonance ka main aapko example deta hu you know smoking is bad for you but mm. you still smoke mm. why why do you do it anxiety relief exactly so you need to have cognitive dissonance for that process to allow for you to have it as an anxiety relief medication because you do know it's killing you right you do know it's messing up with your lungs but because my anxiety needs it i will smoke it what is that process it's called cognitive dissonance mm. if you don't have that then you're just a very orderly person mm. and you have a big chance of going psychotic because your brain ocd jo hota hai logon ko extreme forms of ocd that's why they try to dull the brain because you're too much in order you don't ah. have a lot of cognitive dissonance in you interesting the balance nahi hai na aapka yeah ke kuch cheeze it's it's okay sometimes some bad days are going to be bad some days are going to be good mm. that's why when you know yin yang ka isliye to sign hai there's mm. some good in the bad there's some bad in the good mm. so if you flow like wota you know yeah to bruise it yeah become the, the tea water be the water eat cut the tea cup more best tha na you just have to flow yeah bas ha once you have that like reflective voice in you like when you're having the low periods yeah some people is like oh yaar i'm depressed the world's not going to be good and you know life is horrible i'm yeah. no good and you know all of that depressive voice that keeps telling you your yeah. shit yeah you're horrible yeah and they once you have that think oh this too shall pass like it's just a weather this of the mind yeah. Like, yeah once you have that then it becomes a little easier to go yeah. through that even though you get those thoughts in your head you go yeah. like i'm what a nonsense yeah way of speaking muru what did you yeah. do yeah. people were looking at you you took your pants off yeah yeah <laughs> what's, up? what's going on with this pants <laughs> off narrative <laughs> <man>? <laughs> So, uh, not that I've ever done that. Uh, But uh, <laughs> the worst case scenario would be that, uh, right? Uh, so, like that voice exists, but as long as you know that it's gonna pass, yeah. or ये एक मौसम ही है, it becomes a little less maddening to deal with yourself. Yeah, you know. And some people just live in that voice uh, all the time, mm. and they never project their confidence out, and that's when life becomes really like difficult to deal with. So on the note of depression, there's I don't know if you listen to Jordan Peterson. Oh, I love Jordan. Yeah, absolutely. Shout amazing out guy. Jordan Peterson. He's he's an amazing, amazing guy. I mean, people tend to be very hyper focused on his political mm. stuff, but if you listen to his other lectures, his college lectures, he says very interesting stuff. So he he said that you know talk to yourself like you're someone you're you know okay it was talk to yourself as if you were someone that you have responsibility for like you care about. लाइक अपने कोई बच्चा है या कोई बेस्ट फ्रेंड है जिस तरह उसको प्यार करते हो उसी तरह अपने आप से बात करो सेल्फ टॉक इज नंबर वन फैक्टर ऑफ डिप्रेशन एंड एंगजाइटी इट्स द वॉइस इन योर हेड टेलिंग यू थिंग्स अबाउट योर सेल्फ एंड आई हैव बीन अ विक्टम ऑफ दिस बैक इन 2018 19 आई एम प्रीटी ओपनिंग टॉक अबाउट इट आई वाज इन अ वेरी बैड प्लेस मैन माय ब्रेन केमिस्ट्री वाज जस्ट लाइक के आर ब्रो म्यूजिक को भी छोड़ो ये भी छोड़ो मिस करो बस यू नो जस्ट स्टे ऑन द लाइन you know don't go anywhere hmm. because i was on the line i would i was neither there nor here i was just you know existing going out with friends that's it hmm. like my life had zero uh perp although i had was working at that time i was in the un before and then i was at in a job that i didn't like it was a hmm. um it was a private equity kind of a situation in new york i didn't i'm not a i don't like numbers man i get <laughs> it was paid pretty well that's why oh. i was there but like i i dreaded every morning sitting in front of that computer oh god so that happened the way you talk yourself out of it is that you need to 
you need to care about yourself, man. Like you, you have to really say, okay, yeah, you can do it. Even if you can't do it, you will be able to do it. Uh, but you for sure as hell can't do it if you stay on this couch moping about it all the time. Yeah. And you know, like, look at that guy. He's doing this. The world's not against you, man. The world doesn't give a shit about you. Yeah. You need to give a shit about yourself. Because you design not have a design. You have to design your own design. And the problem with negative emotion is people who are... And this is, I'm quoting from Jordan Pearson again. Uh. People who, who experience high levels of neuroticism, which are, this is a proclivity towards negative emotion. In their mind, there's a negative information different process. Hoti hai. If you're a positive person, Muru, like if I tell you a bad news, mm. Muru, today, something is going to happen. Which is personal to you or not personal to you. And you're a very positive person. Your brain, it's going to enter your hemispheres, your duality line, and it's going to be... Uh, articulated up and down up and down up and down until it dissipates between both quadrants positive and negative aapne subtract kar liya ascertain kar liya and then you'll be fine you'll continue on what it does for a negative person that is really proclive your proclive inclined sorry mm. to negative emotion is that when it enters the thought enters your head it hits a certain part of your brain that leads to a cascading effect all across different s- spheres of your life say um I broke up with my girlfriend. Oh, no, my girlfriend broke up with me uh, because I am not a good person. I'm not a good enough person because my childhood was like this. My childhood was like this because my parents are bad. My parents are bad. My life is bad. So one act of the girlfriend breaking up with you went deeper than it should have went. Yeah. Because it went cascading across it. That's what people that experience depression, that's the pathway that people follow. So we need to learn to stop things at different moments like you break up with the that's it man this this take it we're for what it is to be together yeah we're not meant to be together let's move on life goes on this too shall pass all the good shall pass and all the bad shall pass you need to get about both mazek in mahal mein or the best time of your life you also need to remind yourself you don't have to but it needs to be a thought in your head this will end yeah like the party will end you yeah. will go home and you will sleep and you'll wake up on a monday uh. you know and then that will start again uh. so और क्योंकि चीज़ें सारी रिलेटिव होती है तो yeah. बुरा वक्त का ये भी आप एक शाइनिंग लाइट ऊपर देख सकते हो कि क्योंकि बुरा वक्त आया तो अब आगे अच्छा ही आएगा इफ दिस इज़ द लोएस्ट यू हैव अ बिन दिस नो ए बड़ा फ्रॉम हेयर यू नो रॉक बॉरम इज़ द वर्स्ट थिंग दैट वन यू हैव लाइक लाइक पसूड़ी फॉर एग्जाम्पल अली सेठ आई ऑफन वन डीज दैट्स द बिगेस्ट हिट टू कम आउट ऑफ पाकिस्तान अली सेठ हीज किल्ड इट ही इज द किंग Now there's only one. There's only uh, down from there. That's the problem. Unless he makes it like 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 Gangnam style, when yeah. Gangnam style happened. Yeah. Sai was like, there's only down from here. Yeah. You know, but it must be. It must feel so good that you made one of the biggest hits, or maybe the biggest hit in the world, global charts number yeah, yeah. one or some shit. Yeah, right? yeah. But then after that, there's only going down. I guess there's a there's a trail off effect where you know you get to play it in concerts and it it lasts. Like Gangnam Style, still he's still making money off that track. Oh yeah, he was just doing so a show. So there is no down from there. Like, is there. There is a down in terms of artistic fire. You know, I, I don't know uh, Ali Sethi that well, and I don't know how he operates or how he thinks or what mode of duality he's on currently. Yeah. But I think as an artist myself, I can relate that if I have such a high, I'll be very grateful. Mm. But I also will start to wonder that I have a lot of, of other treats to offer my consumers. Would they not want to eat my treats anymore? Mm. Would they just want this one specific treat? Just you didn't say that that I like Man Ullah. Now it's Man Ullah only. And you get back to it. Now Ali Sethi is synonymous with Pasuri. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, it's up to him for him to decide. Yeah. It's not our decision to. So it'll be like, he comes to Pakistan and everybody knows him for many things. Yeah. Because in Pakistan. But like if Pakistan he's like walking in New York, yeah, they'll yeah, be like, yeah. oh, Pasuri guy. Yeah, yeah, you know, so then he'll be the Pasuri guy. Yeah. Or in India, for that in matter. India. Yeah, Which number two. Because uh, India helped, not helped. I mean, they kind of did help propel the song to charts. Because yeah. there could be audience. Number two. Uh. On, Spotify, uh, on Spotify in India as well. So, men, like, yeah, it's like, if, like the most successful artists that I've seen have had a, uh, The arc has been either, yes, they shot up and the arc was somehow magically maintained in perpetuity, per- per- perpetuity. Now, what the thing like this is if you look at your artist graft, if it spikes, it's very big, you can't get it from where you can get it from, you can't get it from where you can get it from, you can't get it from where you can get it from. And it's a very long fall. A lot of people don't recover from that fall. Yeah. Like Sean Kingston. 
Was Sean singing some song? Your way too beautiful girl. Oh yeah. Wala jo gana tha. Yeah. One song. Where do you go? Where do you go? He's you just had doing random club wonders. shows in LA, like random club. Me Sean Kingston's playing. Craig David ke saath hi similar hua tha. Back yeah. in the days, yeah. yeah. Like he's like uh, what was that? Uh, there was a. Uh, Can you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had that one album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vanished. Yeah. Well, at least he had an album. That's an album, though. Yeah. yeah. He has more than one song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, wo bhi tha. Um, Usme seven days bhi tha, filmi and bhi tha. Usme rendezvous bhi tha. I love that album. He never yeah. came back. The guy, though. It's But hard. But Drake is like, there's a Drake there, and you're like, what the hell? But How Drake is- never got that first spike. Drake built it up. Now that's the thing. The mm-hmm. artists that have built up, like they have gradually climbed the ladder. They have a lot of steps. Unke samne, no, I imagine it as a ladder. Like imagine you're walking a ladder, and then boom, the next step is an elevator. It takes you to the top of the Burj Khalifa. Mm. But you haven't built your ladder up there, so how are you going to get down from you that ladder? You don't deserve it yet. Huh? Well, I don't know if you deserve it or not. It's just physically not present hmm. there. Okay. Yeah. You have you don't you don't have enough tools to garner that ladder. Hmm. So you're going to fall, and when you fall, it depends on how gracefully you fall. Some people fall very ungracefully from grace. You know. Mm. So Drake ka ye tha, he built the ladder up step by step, brick by brick, brick by brick. And now he's at a place where he's immortalized in the Michael Jacksons. I believe it. Yeah. I used to be a Drake hater yeah. back in the day. Okay. Uh, I didn't really feel it. Yeah. Earlier, I was also like that. Yeah. But I hadn't heard his music. I just read like some interview where he said, I brought in singing rapping together. Hmm. And I was like, please, it happened. Before. Yeah, not really. Like, I'd read that, read yeah. that and I'd be like, what are you, follow yourself? Yeah. But then I heard it and I was like, I guess he's brought... Like I hear a lot of Lil Wayne in there, Lil. Uh, yeah. And so I go like, oh, he did that before you too. So give, yeah. give like the shout out to the guy who came before you, as opposed to just making yourself into. But this is also another thing, like ego. Yeah. So anap kinda bhar jati hai, you know. And you see that like when somebody shoots up, friends of mine shot up. Exactly. And we we both know psychological. Yeah. 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 I'm like, oh, there's some psychology at play here that's yeah. not going to be good for you in the long run, you know. Yeah, and that's uh, we could get into that, but I don't want to. Because I've touched upon this before too, but like specifically <laughs> yeah. to our industry, there have been a lot of cases in in that uh, in that aspect in which people well deservedly have gotten their fame, but they have lost the plot in in terms of like you know like they they look through you now, they don't look mm. at you or anyone for that matter. Yeah. So and that's you know good for them if that makes them happy, then that's how they want to live. And like, take achi baat Yeah. But uh, if you want to be the great, great, greatest artist, in my opinion, then you need. You need that consistency, and you need a solid, you know, a great team like that is there. Dunki din raat to mio, or koi nia. Because I was just in Dubai. Uh, I don't know if I should mention this, but I met someone pretty great. Mm. Okay, like one of the the greatest of all times in the mm. subcontinent. Mm. Not gonna mention names here, but no. like it was phenomenal gentleman. Unki me ek shoot pe tha. I was just there shadowing and listening and having conversations with him. He his his manager I spoke to and he just had a concert somewhere. उसके बाद ना he's like ये हमारे साथ पांच छह लोग हैं जो आपको नजर आ रहे हैं दस पंद्रह ये हमारी पूरी जिंदगी का काम है हमारा दिन इनसे शुरू होता है हमारी रात इनसे शुरू होती है कि इनको हमने सपोर्ट करके रखना है through the good and the bad. So when that's the sort of support you system you need to you know sustain greatness because greatness comes at a huge psychological cost and if you don't have familiar faces around you you're going to start Are surrounding yourself with unfamiliar faces and unfamiliar opinions that don't have necessarily the best vested interest for you. Mm. They have more of a person's stake to buy. Mm. And like, I've seen this a lot. Like even through Momna, when Momna got really, really famous, mm. right? After that, a lot of people's attitude towards her and towards me started shifting dramatically. Mm. Okay, bhai, um, You know, like what tone? Say, you feel like there's something a little change in this vibe. In there, specifically for Momna, she used to tell me all the time, it's like people just don't, you know, interact with me the same anymore. This, who, mm-hmm. always, I'm just like some ulterior motives. Say, things are happening, which is a tough place to be in psychologically, because then yeah. your interaction with other human beings becomes very transactional and limited. Yeah. So, and the cynicism that it might come with, right? Like the, yeah. everybody's motive is something alti. It's got an ulterior motive. Uh-huh. I was talking to Daniel Zafar ke saath yeah. na uh, Kanye ke jo producers hai. Yeah, I was yeah. talking to them, yeah. and they were like, everybody who comes to Kanye wants something from him. Yeah. So if he's so cynical, because I find him a little cynical at times, yeah. like in, mm. in his interviews and mm. a little ego maniacal at times mm. as well. So I was like, yeah, what's up with that? Like he's like, dude. 
I I he's into the stratosphere, right? So mm. if everybody's coming up to you, I need this from you, I need this from you, and there's an ulterior motive. Who the hell do you trust? Yeah, nobody. Yeah, you know. So having those like really good like foundational relationships that were there before you even became big. Yeah, and you kept them going. Yeah, you know. and you're in it together on the same boat yeah. maybe that's the only way out of it it is and that's the only way through it so yeah it's it's, it's a very dense uh, phenomenon man fame it comes with a lot of uh, the duality again <laughs> everything <laughs> i'm going to you know do something with that definitely that term and concept in the future so yeah it's I mean, not it's not unique up. to me huh there's a uh, I might name that song actually that but no no never mind. <laughs> Now I've announced it. But no there's a so yeah on the 14th we're releasing a song. Uh uh-huh. I don't know when this is going to air but maybe it airs after. You tell me and I'll uh, coordinate it exactly. Maybe we can put it around the same time as the song if you if Yeah, yeah that's fine. Goes with that. So then I'll say we just released a song uh it's called uh <laughs> it's called Heartsick. It's pretty dope. Uh it's it's probably one of the most vocally versatile things I have done. it showcases pretty much uh, 90% of my repertoire capabilities in terms of my voice the highs and the lows and everything in between i'm really proud of this cuz it's self made me and will made it together like hot sib and i am nay gana hai cheez to this is the first taste of my jo mera music hai jo jis tarah maine melodies of structure ki hai ya gana structure kiya so i'm really hyped for it it's first of many we're going to mm. release it's just a we're going mm. we're going now cuz you i'm trying to balance between dualities <laughs> now you know can't be stagnant anymore ab to mere bhi har reference of how i battle life is going to be with this now <laughs> yeah you have to man i've been meaning to ask you uh, i guess as we're closing what happened to abdullah qureshi is he still playing music cuz that song that you did with him yeah. was a banger it was an Thank amazing you. song Thank and you. you know like one of my favorite songs of his and yeah. yours yeah and then he stopped doing music Yeah, I mean, all credit. You try to convince him to come back. Well, I'll tell you this: like, <laughs> all, all credit to Abdullah for writing such an awesome song. It's his melody. It's his. his uh, I just landed my lyrics on it and my melody, but the song was his. Uh, it's a very nice uh, track. And first of all, I love it. It's one of my favorite tracks as well. Um, उसके बाद क्या हुआ क्या नहीं हुआ ये मुझे नहीं पता मैं उसे मिलूं दो तीन दफा पूछा उससे बट uh, जहाँ तक मुझे लग रहा है तो वी प्री सीरियस अबाउट इट तो मैंने अगर इस बंदा सीरियस है तो इट्स इन माई प्लेस मेरा तो नहीं है जगह क्या उसको मैं बोलूँ पर मैंने कहा म्यूजिशन हम कह सकते हैं एक म्यूजिशन ब्रदर इज लॉस्ट हाँ ब्रदर ब्रदर इज लॉस्ट बट मैंने उसको कहा इतनी सी बात की मैंने कहा ब्रदर तुमने आखिरी गाना मेरे साथ करके ये करना मैं मुसलमान हो गया हूँ मेरा ये आखिरी गाना था चलो अच्छी बात है फिर भैया Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you man. so much, Mora. Appreciate it. Pleasure is all mine. Obviously. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you so much.